a blessed Tuesday to us. One very significant note to take is that as we go to the ordinary time of the year before the uh, season of Lent, the first thing that is read is always a, mirac is a miracle or is an expulsion of the evil spirits or the evil spirit in our episode today, which actually connects to the very reason and the very mission and purpose of the Lord to rid of evil in the world. And this is always part of a very significant appreciation and at the same time embracing of the same mission because we are also sent to do the same. Bisag kita pa kanunay ang yawa-yawaan or something, no? Galgalon, tadaghan kayo. And that is always our very struggle to get rid of evil, not just in the world or in our communities, even in our families and in ourselves. But what is so interesting about this beautiful message is also to be tied up with one very significant data or detail that we find in the first reading today. And this is for all of us. When Hannah was accused by the priest Eli, no, or Eli, no, that she, is, she was drunk because she was praying, she was doing all these things, she said, I am just pouring out my deep sorrow and misery. That's why I have been prompted to pray. You know, talking about this, Mogi ni usahay ang kadaghanan na itong identification. We identify with what Hannah was actually doing. Di ba mag-ampo ta when we are in sorrow, when we, are, when we have problems? Di ba? But then, there are also things that even many more people do not pray because they are in sorrow. Tinood ba yan na? No? Daghang mag-ampo tuhod kay, ngano mag-ampo man ko nga, bati man niya akong kinabuhi. No? And this is a very great challenge as we enter into the ordinary time of the year. Because it is not only on special occasions that we are actually, we are praying, excited kaayo ta, inspired kita nga mupray kay fiesta, no? something like this or something like that. But how about in the ordinary time of the year? Because it's not just enough to be able to, you know, to say, ah, mag-pray man ko, basta man domingo. How sa man din ang lunis hanggang sa sabado? No? Every day and actually every moment that is uh, even exaggerated. And I like this very beautiful reminder of a, of a colleague of mine. I learned this from him. Ingun siya nga. It is not a good thing to say, ah, I will just find time to pray. Nga man. If you find time to pray before you know it, Sa sige ni mong pangita o uras, wa na uras. No? And what is the best attitude to that? Instead of, I'll find time to pray, I'll make time to pray. Bahala na bisag unsa sa I will make the time to pray. And this is our way of connecting with the Lord, connecting with the graciousness of God, because He does connect with us. Prayer is our communication. No? Magproblema mang ganit ang walay signal, Ang problema ganito ang walay wifi, no? Di ka ta mag problema ug wa tay pagampo, no wa tay connection sa Ginoo. And this is the greater challenge and we start that at the very threshold of the ordinary time of the year. So pray and pray and pray and even more pray and pray and pray and pray, and pray pag yon. Charo. Amen. <laughs>